Hey everybody, welcome to just another Xenoscope Monday. Two comic book dudes here. I'm Aaron, editor in chief of Comic Booked. Hey everybody, Justin, managing editor over Comic Book. And our website's comicbook.com. Check that out for new content uh, pretty much every day. We, we have something up almost every day. Um, great uh, interviews, reviews, uh, editorials, you know, all that kind of stuff. So, uh, yep. new comic book list goes up every Monday as well. So, you want to check that out and see what the new stuff is coming out. Um, we do just another Xenoscope Monday every Monday. And that previews the books coming out from Xenoscope Entertainment that coming Wednesday. So, uh, this week we have one book. We're just going to jump right into it. Yep. Um, every week we do a uh, little uh, flashback to some of the old cool covers, variant covers that they've had. This was a Neverland Hook, issue number five, I think, or three. I can't tell if that's a three or five. Um, but it was a Wizard World New Orleans variant cover, so it was limited edition. Pretty cool. Nice. And this week we're talking about Van Helsing versus Dracula. Number three of five. So this was uh, this was a pretty good book. I, I really liked it. Uh, you know, the story so far has been Liesel Van Helsing, uh, the daughter of um, Abraham Van Helsing, the famed monster hunter, um, has been now tracking Dracula and trying to trying to take him out. Um, but he seems to be unkillable. So she's dating Hades. So Hades has gone off to try to find a solution to the Dracula problem. Mm-hmm. Um, great art in this, um, Pat Shan's writing this one. So it's pretty, pretty good writing. Um, you know, this has some pretty good fights in, in it. Um, yeah, we know. have a, we have a, a cop who's not a cop or no, she was a cop. She day. just went kind of wacky and yeah. Only during the day. Yep. I liked, uh, Van Helsing's statement, you know, uh, many things change at night or something like yeah. that. Case so. Yep, yep, very, very interesting. So he had a uh, supposed vampire killer that was running around uh, drinking people's blood, but uh, Van Helsing could kind of see through that. There was some things not quite right with this whole the whole deal. So uh, it was interesting. But they're looking for the steward of Rome, who they're hoping can lead them to some kind of a an answer for how to kill Dracula. And uh, they do track down in this book, although he's not quite what we all expected, I think. You know, we hear steward of Rome, he's supposed to be some kind of great vampire. And, right. uh, he's, a, yeah, he's, he's a great hunter. He was, yeah. He, a great he, was hunter. he was a monster hunter like Liesel and, uh, and Abraham right. before, both were. before her father. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. And he's the only person to ever have confronted Dracula and survived. And he wrote about him, uh, same as Abraham Van Helsing had. Um, and we find out that he was punished for that. So it's mm-hmm. kind of interesting, but yeah. So, yeah, we get, a, we get a good amount of backstory on some things that we didn't know about. And, you know, kind of adding into what, you know, maybe, uh, well, we get explained a little bit more of Dracula's powers. So, yeah, that's neat to read. Yeah, that was really interesting. You know, they kind of the reciprocity, reciprocity, recip- whatever, reciprocity, yeah. that's the word, <laughs> reciprocity. <laughs> Uh, process of becoming a vampire and so you know why is it that just drinking his blood doesn't get you to become a vampire like right other vampires do so mm-hmm. yeah, that was that was interesting uh, i like when they kind of lay out that mythology a little bit for you and help you to understand better so yep. uh, you know harker's running around with her mina is still back um wherever she's at back in new york and uh still weird and buggy and um but we kind of have a better understanding of what she's becoming so that's kind of right. cool. Yep. But definitely things are building up. Um, Hades went back down to the underworld to his kingdom and a bunch of demons attacked him and basically told him our king is dead and tried to kill him. Um, he didn't take too kindly to that. So we have that uh, whole thing going on. But he went there for a very specific purpose. We're not going to spoil it. Um, but that purpose is definitely going to lead us into maybe the tool to destroy Dracula. Mm-hmm. So We'll find out. But uh, cool stuff this week. Uh, you know, this is one book. Really, I mean, we've said before, you can pick up every book from Xenoscope every month and really not spend that much money. Uh, yeah. Unless you're going out and picking up all the variant covers and everything. Right. But, but there are some some great books, some really solid stories. Uh, very, very cool, cohesive universe, which is great. And uh, strongly uh, female leads. So it's cool. Yeah, very good book. Mm-hmm. 
So, all right. Well, that's it. One book this week. Pretty short show. Um, we hope you enjoyed it. Definitely like, share, comment. Um, tell your friends about this. You know, we definitely want to get the word out about Xenoscope and all the great books that they have. Uh, we've been reviewing Xenoscope now back to April of last year, 2014. Mm -hmm. So we've got uh, either video reviews through this year and then uh, prior year we have uh, articles out there that show each cover and talk about each book. So if you're interested in catching up and you don't want to run out and buy, you know, however many books, probably, probably a lot, yeah. probably a couple hundred, yeah, um, you know, just read all about them. That's the easiest way to do it. So, yep. Yep. all right, check out comicbook.com for more information. Um, check out xenoscope.com. You can usually pick up back issues from there. Uh, you can also get some of the cool variants and then more yeah. news there as well. And um, great, you know, reasonable price. They, oh, they yeah. know what they have and they're not trying to upsell you. So, yep. For sure. Um, and, you know, if you're at a convention, uh, they ha usually have a setup, which is uh, pretty cool. They, um, the first books that I actually bought from Xenoscope were when I first started reviewing them, and I got the the first volume of Grim Fairy Tales Trade. And it was like regular fifteen ninety nine. I got it for 10 bucks. Oh, wow. Well, nice. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Plus, um, I think either Joe Brusha or uh, Ralph Tedesco was there. And one of them signed it for me. I can't remember who it was because I flipped through Reddit, bagged it, put it away. So yeah. it was cool. You know, he had his little silver pen out and he's going, here, I'll just sign it for you. I'm like, oh, hey, that's really nice. So that was awesome. Um, definitely real, really good folks to meet and talk to at conventions. And uh, you never know, you might get a might get something free out of the deal from right. talking to them. So it's pretty cool, especially if you tell them about us. Just another Xenoscope Monday. Um, let them know you you hear about them from us. We may have some people. You never know. So like, share, comment, do all that stuff. Uh, please subscribe as well on our YouTube channel, uh, Comic Booked on YouTube. And then you can check out our two Facebook pages, Comic Booked and Two Comic Book Dudes. Um, all of our videos are put up on Two Comic Book Dudes. So if you ever miss one, you can go there and scroll down. Or you can go to YouTube and uh, check out the playlist for Two Comic Book Dudes. All our shows are on there. So great stuff. All right. Thanks for taking time. We appreciate it. And we'll see you next week. Yeah. Thanks, everybody. Have a good one.